Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to install and set up a Kafka in your new PC. So first uh, go to the Kafka Apache.org, click on download Kafka. After downloading Kafka, scroll up, select the required version you want to download. Uh, I'm selecting a 3.1 to download the Kafka file. Uh, once it is downloaded, go to the download go to the download folder and uh, unzip this folder. So I have already unzipped the folder. Uh, I have already unzipped the folder and which was placed here. Yeah, which was placed here. Okay. So uh, now so if you want to run your Kafka in Linux machine, you can use the files which are placed in bin folder. Okay, if you want to use or set up your Kafka in your Windows machine. Just go to the Windows folder where you have the uh, all the bad files which will help you to run in Windows file. Okay, to start your uh, Kafka up and running, so we need one of the most important components, that is Zoomkeeper. So first you need to start your Zoomkeeper. So you need to start your Zoomkeeper by sending the combination file. Copy, oh, sorry, open the CMD. Uh, after opening the CMD, uh, if you want, if it's not sure what commands to run, go to the quick start. So in that quick start, you will have uh, the unzip commands. After that, you have the uh, commands which will help you to start your Zoomkeeper. So now go to the Zoomkeeper, press your commands on the Windows uh, command prompt, remove the shell and open the bat, right type the bat. So Jmeter, sorry, the the, the uh, Kafka will not understand uh, this command prompt will not understand the config folder. So if you enter this config by default, it will not run. So it will show you like the configuration file at missed. So for this, what you need to do is just go to the command, uh, open the command, and take the complete full path of your uh, uh, Kafka directory. Okay. Take complete uh, path of your directory and uh, paste it. So now change your uh, uh, folder uh, path uh, slashes, follow slashes to backslashes, which supports the Windows. Now you run the file. So the config folder is in Kafka folder. So when you run it from the Windows folder, it won't don't know the, the bad file of the paper, don't know the file is placed in two folders up. So that is the reason why it was failed. Now if you run this, the Zoomkeeper will be run. So now the Zoomkeeper is starting. So once the Zoomkeeper is up, then we can start the actual Kafka. So Zoomkeeper is a dependency of to, to run the Kafka. So if the Zoomkeeper doesn't uh, turn on, then your Kafka will not uh, run. It will not start basically. It will not start. The Kafka will not start actually. Okay, now if you see this, uh, 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 Zoomkeeper started. Now we need to run. Uh, we need to run the uh, Kafka. So don't stop your Kafka or Zoomkeeper, and don't uh, terminate that window where you started the Zoomkeeper. Open another command prompt. After opening the command prompt, use the same command what you are showing here. So use the command here. Uh, use the command here. Uh, as a bat, as a bat, and uh, copy the same path here. So in the earlier file, what we are using here, so we will copy the same path here from here. Yeah, same path. So where we have the zone, where we have our uh, uh, install, or you can run it from the bin, uh, main folder of your Kafka by slash. Uh, bin slash uh, windows slash kafka dot bat uh, in that way also you can run it without mentioning the complete path now kafka is running kafka is starting so it was connecting to the zoomkeeper uh, now it's starting yeah once zoom on once your zoomkeeper and kafka is up uh, you, uh, you, if you have already have topics created, then you can directly send messages to the specific topics. So as we, are do, as we don't have the topics currently, so I will create a temporary topic now. So I will create a sample topic just to send the messages.
and uh, we'll add a consumer also to read the messages so now kafka is also open and running now go to the go to that uh, and use this kafka uh, quick start so now go uh, now open another command prompt from the windows folder so now i will use the topic name as task incomplete task in complete task in complete and so shell and within the bat file uh, so already i'm windows folder on the login here so now in direct uh, it has to show the topic as created now if it if that has created successfully so now the topic has created task in complete now we don't um, first we listen to the consumer uh, Control producer, they will give the uh, consumer will read the consumer first, just to see what is there any messages. As we create now, we should have we should not have any messages uh, uh, in the we should not have any messages in our copy. Uh, so just validating that. Okay, just pasting here and uh, changing the our uh, topic name to task incomplete. task in complete in complete and i'm changing the shell to batch file okay shell to batch file and enter so as we don't have any messages it's not showing anything now we know when next when i do control c you see that uh, the process student is of zero because we don't have any messages in that uh, uh, topic so now we'll send a few messages uh, now we'll send the messages using command prompt so we can send messages using any of your client like uh, java or .NET. so we have respect, respect to dependencies so we can send it from, from through the code so uh, we'll see those as well in the next tutorials Incomplete. Incomplete. So now uh, Kafka dot control Kafka dot dot recognized as an internal external command. So maybe uh, okay, I've copied the wrong thing. Bat file, sorry, I have mentioned in bat file. Here, typo is a bat file. I mentioned it in bat file. So now, when you click on that, it will ask for some messages to enter. Uh, this is is my first message. This. Is my second message okay? Now I'm stopping with Control C. Terminate. Yes. Uh, so actually, I, I have not clicked enter for a second message. So it will show you the only one message I see, I guess. So uh, now select this. Now I'm running the console again. Consumer, consumer again. So now it will show you the number of messages what we have there. So this is my first message. One message. Okay. So because I have not entered the uh, enter here. So after if you click enter, then it will send it to the project. So as in not entered, not press enter, it was not sent to that message. Yeah, so this is how we need to use this now. The now the Kafka is up and running, and we are able to send the messages using command prompt, and we are able to consume the messages using command prompt. So we'll see how to uh, send messages using Java in next tutorial. Thanks for your assistance.